Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia world. In previous videos of the module graphics, we looked into basics of plotting, mesh and surface plots, working with images and printing graphics. In this video, we are going to take a look at working with graphics object. Graphic objects are basic elements used to display graphs. These objects are organized into a hierarchy as shown by the diagram. When you call a plotting function, MATLAB creates the graph using various graphic objects such as figure window, axis, lines, text and so on. Each object has a fixed set of properties, which you can use to control the behavior and appearance of the graph. When calling a function like say for example plot function, MATLAB creates a hierarchy of graphic objects. We get a figure which is a window that contains axis, toolbars, menus and so on. We get an axis that is a coordinate system that contains the object that represents the data. Here in this case we have a 3D axis, 3D axis coordinate system that contains our graph. We have line that represents the value of data passed to the plot function. We have text that is nothing but the labels for axis, tick marks and optional titles and annotations. Different types of graph uses different objects to represent data. Because there are many kind of graphs, there are many types of data objects. Some are general purpose such as lines and rectangles and some are highly specialized such as error bars, color bars and legends. Plotting functions can return objects used to create the graph. For example, here the whole figure and the plot of x and y is returned back to h. We can see all the properties using getH and set some properties like colors, line width and others using the function set. Here is a list of commonly used function when working with objects or graphic objects. We have all child that finds all the children of specified objects. We have ancestors that find the ancestor of graphics object. We have copy objects that copies the graphic objects. We have delete that deletes an object. We have find all that find all the graphic objects including the hidden handles. Then we have find object that find the handles of objects having specified property values. We have GCA that returns the handle of current axis. We have GCF that returns the handle of current figure. We have GCO that returns the handle of current object. Then we have get function that query the values of an object properties. We have is handle that returns true if the value is a valid object handle. We have set function that sets the value of an object property. One can define specialized plotting functions to simplify the creation of customized graphs and plots. By defining a function, we can pass arguments like MATLAB plotting functions. The example here is a basic example taken from MATLAB manual. This example shows a MATLAB function that evaluates a mathematical expression over the range specified in the input argument x and then plots the results. The function modifies the y-axis text based on the values calculated. Axis label and a title finishes the custom graph. So here in line 1, function plot func is defined and it is told that it will take a single argument. The second line represents the mathematical figure that needs to be solved using the past argument. The third line calculates the mean of the y. In the fourth line, I have created a figure with handle h figure. Then I have created an axis with handle HAX. I am plotting X and Y on the axis HAX. Now on the same plot as in line 8, I have plotted the mean of the data with color being red. Now I am taking the default Y tick values from the axis HAX into variable YLAB. Now I am sorting this value and mean values and then assigning them back to HAX ticks. I finished the function by giving the figure a title a x label and a y label. This is how I call the plot function from the command line. I created a vector x and passed it as an argument to the function plot func. Shown on the left is the graph that is generated. So the blue line represents the data of y and the red line uh, represents the mean of that data. There is a lot that can be done using the handles of various objects. As of now, I am concluding this graphics module by showing you these basic stuff over the past couple of videos. In the next module, we will go deeper into programming concepts in MATLAB. 
So until then, stay tuned, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.